Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of this old Mustang. Hopefully we make, may have, we're making some great content for you today. Let's go back this way. We have some familiar faces and we have a new face over here and we've got a wide range of different vehicles. So follow me. DJ, I'm gonna give you a, a, a detailed thing, but first I wanna introduce our new guy. Nobody's seen him yet. I see him. Randy. Mark. Hey, Randy. How you doing? Fantastic. Randy, well, this is, the uh, first thing I have to say is I love the color. This is like a burgundy with silver stripes. It's called a uh, crimson red. Crim crimson red? Yep, it'll only be ordered with the 40th anniversary package. It's a 40th anniversary package. Yep. And how long have you owned it? Uh, since April 2019. Okay, so you've had it maybe two years. Yep. Now, <laughs> this isn't functional, but it looks terrific. Randy, what's going on here? Uh, like I'm old school, I love muscle cars. I love the old uh, hood pin look. Did you um, put those on? Yeah, I did. I did. This looks like you painted it. Recently, yeah. Yeah, the last time we talked, it was all faded and stuff. So it I looks just, terrific. It and you got amazing. a chin spoiler, too. Correct. Just throw some armor all on that. It'll come up nice and black. Yep. Headlights look great. Come on around this way, Ant. You know what I really like about this car? Look how tall the profile of his tires are. This is not a low profile nonsense vehicle. This is, sits high and it's got tall rubber. You can put BF Goodrich DA radials on this thing with raised white letters. It would look fabulous. And again, he's got a silver stripe along the bottom. Looks terrific. This is factory, right? Got your Mustang extractor here. What has Casper done? Casper's corner, right? Yep. What have they done for you? Uh, I had an N2B watt box installed. Right, we can't hear you, the wind's blowing. Oh. I had an N2B watt box installed. Uh, I needed them to program it for me. I wired it all up, they had a program. And then they also did the Bama tune. Uh, did all the configurations, did all the air The 93 issues. race tune in it? Correct. Okay, yep. what, what else? Uh, that's about it at Casper right now, besides just mounting tires and balance. 373 gears. Oh, yes, I actually had it. Who put those in? Casper. Casper's did. They put them in Rich's car and they put them in Johnny's car also. Yeah, they're That's the only thing missing in the three valve. That and a coyote motor. Um, okay, come on around the back. I noticed now, did this come from the factory with the subdued uh, non, non spoiler? Yeah, the spoiler delete and the factory option with the uh, 40th anniversary package. 40th anniversary had a spoiler delete. Well, it certainly stands. Man, this color is beautiful. It really stands out. Um, and again, it's got the beautiful tri bar, fully Mustang tail lights. Now, have you thought about? You got the Mustang uh, lettering there. They make chrome. In, chrome. Did you want to put them on? I was thinking about. It. I thought maybe it was too blingy. Nah, it Maybe. doesn't. I've had them on my GT. It looks good. Okay. I had a 98 GT. It said Mustang GT, and I put them on there. Uh, and then, of course, Randy's got the GT emblem here again, so that if anyone driving behind him has any doubt of what's in front of them, they know it's not a regular vehicle. B, these are SLPs. Yep, loud mouth ones. Big, big tips coming out the back. <laughs> and it's loud. As we will see when you, when you, uh, what did you run, Miranda, the, uh, the yellow jacket? Okay. Come on around this way. This car's clean, man. It doesn't have any scratches or anything. Looks good, doesn't it, Rich? Sure, bro. It's it's my baby. What he pointed out, 40th year versus 50th year. I didn't even figure that out. I got the 50 year badge on mine. He's got the 40 year badge on his. Well, this is a, this is a beautiful car. Oh, it is. Can we open it up? Yeah, go ahead. Wow, clean, super clean. How many miles? Uh, 132,000. 132,000, and the motor's still running strong. Yeah, we're running motor Just keep motor. changing the oil, it'll be fine. Yep. Those seats are terrific. Did you replace those? No, not factory. Wow. Now, you got a Hearst knob on there. Yeah, it's got a sock shifter base. But it's got stock linkage. Yes. That Hearst knob scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, I'm, 
I'm not even talking to you. What? I told you. Dude, my car was flying, man. I was like doing 110 miles an hour. Yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't keep it on the road. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. He's car like ahead of me. Okay. That's great looking. Come on around this side and uh, let's just check out the cockpit real quick and jump in there. Are those aftermarket gauges? Uh, no, the trim does this all right. The, do you put the trim, the chrome on it? Yes. Yes, and those are factory pads as well. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, pads. Have you had this to the track? Do you yeah. know where it runs? I have not had it. Just, just down the street. Okay. Can we pop the hood? Yeah, definitely. Man, I like this car. I got a thing for red. Man, what'd you make? What'd you do? Steam cleaner for us? Nah, a little bit of a little bit of tire shine. Do do wonders. Definitely. So you got an air raid, cold air inbox, and he, hey, take a look over here, Ant. This is cold air. See, this is this is this is sealed off with the uh, rubber um, we uh, weather stripping here against the hood. So none of this heat's coming in, and he's got a big opening right into the fender well. So he's getting a good amount of cold air in there, and not as long. It's not even hot. This is really heat absorbent. That's like not even hot at all. So you're getting some nice cold air into your throttle body. Again, as I always say, these overhead cams, whether it's two valves, or whether it's three valves, or whether it's the Coyote, they're wide motors because they have a boring stroke on a perfect 90 degree angle, which is why they go so many high miles without spinning rod bearings. That's just my own personal theory. I don't know if I'm right or not. I like it, but this thing is clean, bro. Yeah, it's clean. This is a clean car. All right, Randy. Let's hear it for Randy. I like it, man. Yeah, I man. like it. Very awesome. Check out the uh, coil packs. He put in brand new red coil packs. That's sharp looking. Sounds healthy too. Look at those valve covers, they're spotless. Yeah, this thing's clean, bro. This is a good car, man. The daily driver, too. Yeah, it's clean, bro. Okay. an earth mover. Now the only problem he had on the last run is he had Big Buddy in the car with him. He weighed about 200 and some pounds. But he didn't this time and, right. I, and I coached him right. and he launched way better. Yeah. He was right on your ass. Did he just get ready out walk me with this big block? Someone was in the lane? Yeah, somebody yeah was coming. someone was coming up. Son of a gun. Look at the tires on the thing, dude. Look how shiny this. This is beautiful. He washed this. Look how gorgeous that is. And Check out this mirror. This is full blown TJ. This is full blown retro muscle car right here. That's gorgeous. And you got them on both sides. Get a big old shot of that 392 Hemi badge. Oh, jeez. Where to start? Where to start? I'll do it. Oh my goodness. This he breaks on check if it's in gear. That is a solid bucket seat. This is a big car in here. Nice. It's not a short throw shifter, but it's not notchy. It's really clean. Look, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Where's reverse? Over and down. Over and down. There it is. Wow. I know he's got the little the little pull switch, the little pull up and to him? Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the little <laughs> What'd you do? Press this launch button right here? Yeah. And it tells you uh start the car up. It tells you right there what to do. <laughs> that was good. You, you did three, right? great. No, it, it it tells you uh you gotta keep the steering wheel straight and then it says some crazy shit like like full throttle dump the clutch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Really? Yeah, it says uh, apply full throttle and release clutch pedal. 
give me the keys. <laughs> I'm serious. I want to run it. I want to take. I want to blast it down there. I want to see how it runs. <laughs> All right. Watch in. Take the start button. Let's start. <laughs> This thing sounds healthy, doesn't it? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> to let him get ahead of you. <laughs> wow. I like this. <laughs> this thing runs great. <laughs> How did I ever manage to stay next to you? <laughs> I don't know. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the power band and the... Uh, the, the power curve in this. Uh, I have borrowed my girlfriend's, a, a girl, not my girlfriend, a girlfriend of mine's. I had borrowed her. She loaned it to me because she wanted to get the oil changed and everything and get it detailed and all that. Yeah. It was a 2015 SS Camaro. A convertible with 455 horsepower. Yeah. It felt just like this. Thanks, DJ. I appreciate it, man. No that camera wouldn't stop this moving. Thing, <laughs> as big as it is, it is light on its feet, man. Yeah, you, you just hit it and it's, whoo, you're off and running. Get that thing. I told him. I tried telling him, bro, he don't want to listen. He's got, my man's got a ballistic missile. This is a stud, though. It knocks the missile down, bro. It smashes it. Crushes it. It's all about the transmission. You don't want to run a stick. Automatic's the way to go. What are you going to do? Now, this big purple thing's going to eat me alive. You say that every time, Rich. Well, you know, I like to underestimate. <laughs> sandbag. Every <laughs> single time. See, I like that sandbag. <laughs> Look at the size of this big purple purple thing, though, bro. All right. That's what do you think? Listen, someone's got to win. All right. race DJ now. That'll be a dead heat if, if I mean we raced with that heat a couple weeks ago. But 
Yeah. He got closer to Rich than I did. I had, I had, I was stayed with him like the first year, didn't I? Yeah. And then after that, he just fucking turboed away from me. All right, now, Rich, you managed to embarrass the three valve. You managed to hold off the 392 Hemi, although he was coming. He was coming. And you managed to hold off the highly modified with 373 gear 20th anniversary new edge. Beautiful. All that with a hair dryer. With a hair dryer. A big hair dryer and 2.3 liters of displacement. Now, what's changed since last summer? Okay, so what I did, guys, is I put two red duct tape stripes on here. No, that I was there last summer. We're talking power. about the motor. I oiled the air filter. I, I yeah. put a precision. He's trying to be funny. <laughs> a precision NXT turbo, big turbo, two thousand dollars worth of to turbo. I put 373 gears out of a 2016 Total GT in the rear, and I also had to take it to Stotts and had it, the Bamba tube dropped and a custom tube put in, and a compact dual blow-off valve. Pretty much, this rear right now is what's making this thing get up and go. I'm tuned for a 331 rear, don't know if that matters, some say do, yeah, some say don't. you're still getting torque multiplication. The thing is coming out of the hole pretty freaking hot and heavy, and my mid range picked up big time with that turbo, which I was lacking with before. He's getting ready to out block me, though. If the road carried on any longer, he's coming sooner. We'll have to see. I, I tried to get Zach out here. Zach, he's got an automatic coyote. I don't think he would have done much because he's a young guy and I don't think he knows how to drive. I, I don't know. I can't say that for sure. I know Johnny knows how to drive, uh, but he, of course, as you know from our emails, he's not coming out. Yeah, that's just excuse, Andrew, excuse, yeah, Andrew, excuse. He's, he's got the 2012 Coyote, and now he's got gears in it, so he's way over 600, 400 horsepower with gears and a short throw shifter. That should be a very competitive race. No, I don't think I'd win that race, but I tell you what, I'd die trying. That'd it, be that race would be really close, man, because that's a fast car, and your car is fast. And his car is fast, and my car is yeah, fast, fast, and that car is fast. fast. They're all, none of these are slow cars. No, it's the everyday, and I don't know about you guys, but this is my everyday driver on top of it. It is mine too. How about you, DJ? You guys, look at what we're driving every day. Oh, it's horrible. Can you imagine? We have to be seen in these things. It's, 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 I, 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 it's so embarrassing. This is the, this is the working man's car. That's what. That's what I wanted to say at the beginning, beginning of this video. There's plenty of uh, YouTube car videos out there where guys are running nines and tens and they got blowers and they got money out the wazoo. This is the Everyday Joe Six Pack channel. Right. All right. Six Pack. TJ did everything he could to get his hands on a 392 Hemi. Does it have a blower? Has it worked yet? No but it's a muscle car. You did everything you could. You got a four cylinder, and you chipped away at it like I did with the three valve to make it as fast as you could, but we, we, I still don't have boost on it like, like Nate Ryder or Stang mode. Everything's boosted with the Hulk and the, he's like the king of YouTube. And then look at the job that Randy did over here. He's got a beautiful new edge that is clean as a whistle it's got gears, it's got a stick, it's got to be fun as hell to drive. Hell yeah, sounds good too. The color is gorgeous. So this is the Everyday Joe Six Pack, the Everyman channel. For all you guys out there that are just were able to get your Mustang and have fun, this is the channel for you. And we do, we are addicted, it never ends. We do do upgrades. Am I right? You did, yeah. you did, I did. You got 392 cubic inches. <laughs> as All long right. as they keep the stimulus checks coming, I'm going to be. Look, I bought rims for the last one. They shut my electric off. We discussed that, but I got rims out of the deal. And I got another 1400 hours coming. So I got to do something with that. Let's I'm going to stick it right in should there. Should I have my electric shut off or should I get rims for my Mustang? Rims, baby. Rims, rims, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. All right, everybody, let's sign off. This is old Mustang. So long. Hey. And everybody in unison, don't forget to <laughs> share, share, <laughs> like.
like, like, subscribe, subscribe, and comment. And comment if you want. Make it a good comment. Stop talking about my stomach and lack of hair, too, all right?